hey what is up guys king here back with another video for you um so today we're going to be looking at the brand new infinix x3x just got released um a week ago or so as of the time of making this video today is the first time as i'm unboxing it that i'm going to be seeing it you know i just didn't want to see it i don't really want to have a spoiler i wanted us to look at it together right so come on in let's um see what it's made up of so starting out here we we'll see this very nice packaging that feels very solid um it says here the phone has it comes with a 32 gigabyte internal memory and three gigabytes of ram not bad let's tear it open there we go so on the first impression here when you open this pack you see the phone itself include this uh, plastic kind of screen guard here plastic case usb 3.0 cable uh, there's a fast charger these earphones that comes with it and you also have a pin for opening popping out your sim cards that's it all let's push all this aside so guys once you open this phone up for the first time and power it on you notice that it has um it has this very beautiful display of course this is it's a 6.6 .6 inch display and it's lcd and um one notable difference about this um, display as soon as you power on this phone you notice that they've added the the notch here you know because this display is, is the same this kind of display that is in the previous infinix note 5 that came out um, a few a few weeks ago and according to them you can actually turn off the notch if you don't feel comfortable with it or if you don't like the notch it can be turned off inside settings and under here we notice that it still comes with a regular um with a regular usb 3.0 and then it has speakers down there and it still has the headphone jack i'm a big fan of the headphone jack it comes with a 3 gigabyte ram and a uh, 32 gigabyte internal memory and it has this um it comes with a snapdragon 480 processor it's not like the 480 processor is the best processor out there. I mean, their device is running the Snapdragon 850 now, but for the 480 of the device of this caliber, I mean, this phone is a budget phone. It's not really like, it might not be the best phone right now, but it's a budget phone. It has this glossy um, back right now, but I don't really I don't really like the materials they use in doing designing this back because, I mean, look at it right out of the box. As I'm doing this, you can actually see my fingers. Um, my fingers appearing or fingerprints appearing at the back of the phone, which is not cool. I don't like. I didn't. I don't like the material. It's actually kind of like plastic. It's not really glass. And then you look here now. You see where the fingerprint still stays, which is more or less like a standard on all the Infinix devices. The fingerprint sensor is the same place. And then you see these two back cameras here. Each of them is. Um, this the one is the first one is 13 megapixel. The second one is 12 is 2 megapixel with this ring light. And then in the at the front camera facing camera, so you have a, a 16 uh, megapixel front facing camera and a, a ring um, a flash on it. Let's check out the cameras. Let me see what the front camera looks like. When I did the when I did the comparison of the Infinix Camon X Pro versus the uh, sorry Techno Camon X Pro versus the Infinix um, the Infinix Note 5, I I, made, I complained about this issue um, in that video where we, I talked about I complained about the cameras always having this uh, issue of overexposure. You know, it's and it's the same thing I have still noticed here. Even though the selfie is great, it's the same thing I still notice here. I still have this issue of overexposure, which I'm I'm hoping these people, um, uh, Transition Holdings or Infinix or Techno will eventually fix in the later future. But for now, it seems there's no way out. It's still the same issues that keep coming up. Um, well, so I, I tried out the, I tried out the back camera, the 13 megapixel camera. It's not bad, like I took this shot and you can see even after I zoom in, I can still see, read everything, they're very clear and it's it's, it's quite impressive. The back cameras are usually very impressive and then um, I did, this is the portrait mode here. Like, it, it, it actually took this, the portrait mode actually worked well, but the only issue you just notice here is that it's, it's not really, the edges are not really that sharp. Um, uh, compared to other ones but i mean it's not really it's not a it's not a bad it's not bad nobody might really notice it you know so the cameras are great and so let's go ahead and test the fingerprint let's see how sharp it is you know in from my previous um, experience um infinix um, phones have never failed my fingerprint test i mean they do a good job of putting good fingerprints inside these devices but so i just put in a fingerprint let me lock the phone let's see how sharp it responds 
Uh, no. It's not like it doesn't respond well, it responds well. But for the fact that it, it has this like 0.5 seconds delay before it responds, uh, I think it's, it's kind of like a turn off for me. It, it shouldn't waste that much time before it, on the Note 5, as soon as you touch the device, it's up. But I'm, I'm feeling that 0.5 second delay on this one, and the, it's not so great, you know. So it comes with a 3 gigabyte RAM and a 32 gigabyte internal memory, and it has this, um, it comes with a Snapdragon 480 processor. It's not like the 480 processor is the best processor out there. I mean, there are devices running the Snapdragon 850 now, but for the 480 of the device of this caliber, I mean, this phone is a budget phone. It's not really like, it might not be the best phone right now, but it's a budget phone. So um, it's a phone that you should you should check it out. And it goes for like $170. So it's you can actually get this in Nigeria for like 63,000 naira or 64,000 naira, which is not bad for the price that you'll be paying. Or they tell me what you think. Do you think this phone is worth the money? Personally, I don't think it's what it's worth $170. I don't think it's worth 63,000 naira. Do you like the fact that a notch has been added to it? You know, because this is the first Infinix phone with a notch. Let us know in the in the comment section. Then we'll talk about it, and then you you hear my opinion, and you you got to hear what others think about it. All right. So till next time, I'll see you again. All right. Bye.